In some cases, doctors and neurologists will use a DAT scan to test if a person has Parkinson's disease or multiple sclerosis, which is a test to find out how much dopamine a person has in their brain. But this test is just as hopeless as lesions on an MRI for finding out if a person has either of these two disorders. Dopamine is a hormone made by the substantia nigra in the brain and it is released when we are positive and loving about our life to encourage good breathing, blood flow, digestion and kidney function. When all these interactions are working efficiently, the result is that our muscles will remain relaxed and really flexible. On the other hand, when we are not positive and loving about our life, our substantia nigra will stop releasing dopamine, which will in turn cause poor breathing, poor blood flow and digestion, and sleep problems due to incontinence. All these negative interactions will then cause our muscles to be very tight, which will cause the symptoms the doctors and neurologists are trained to associate with Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. The fact is, there is no test to prove that these two disorders even exist as diseases. Many autopsies carried out in the 1800s by a variety of doctors and surgeons showed that nobody could find one particular part of the brain that was at fault to cause all the symptoms associated with Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. The brain will only show normal levels of dopamine if a person is happy and loving because dopamine, a hormone that medical experts have nicknamed the hormone of love, is only released properly into the brain if a person is experiencing happiness and loving thoughts. This means they can do a DAT scan on anybody who's been unhappy for some time and get a negative reading, even though they have no physical symptoms that they can relate to a disease. What sort of confusion is this going to cause? And now here are some questions and answers from the New York Parkinson's Disease Foundation website explaining the DAT scan. The answers are supplied by Dr. James Beck in relation to Parkinson's disease. Question number one, what is the DAT scan? Dr. Beck's answer, the DAT scan is an imaging technology that uses small amounts of a radioactive drug to help determine how much dopamine is available in a person's brain. Question number two, can the DAT scan diagnose Parkinson's disease? Dr. Beck's answer, DAT scans cannot diagnose Parkinson's disease. These scans are used to help a doctor confirm a diagnosis. Well, if there's no main test to show that a person has Parkinson's disease, how can the DAT scan possibly do a confirmation? Question number three, what is the role of the DAT scan for people living with Parkinson's? Dr. Beck's answer. Currently, there is no objective test for Parkinson's disease. 
In my opinion, they can't possibly come up with a test for Parkinson's disease because I don't believe it even exists. The symptoms that medical doctors and neurologists are trained to use to tell people that they have an incurable disease that they call Parkinson's disease are caused by extreme muscle stiffness that's provoked by life stress, just as Dr. James Parkinson described way back in the 1800s. But medical doctors to this day are still ignoring him because this reasoning will give popularity to natural therapy ideals and stress management counselling programs like mine, which will then reduce pharmaceutical drug sales. And my goodness, we can't have that, can we? What is the name of the neurologist who carried out your diagnosis? Uh, Pedro Guajardo. It's, uh, he's in Monterrey, Mexico. Dr. Pedro Guajardo? Yes. Now, did he do an MRI on you? Yes, he did. Did he find lesions? No, he didn't see anything abnormal. Uh, nothing abnormal nothing, on your MRI? Nothing abnormal. So then how did he arrive at the um, conclusion that you have Parkinson's disease? He uh, asked me to do a couple of things, like to walk, and he saw my face. He, uh, he concluded that because of the symptoms, he was... From the symptoms, was, right. Yes. I changed some neurologists after that, and they did me some, some more tests. Mm -hmm. you know, then I went to a, a medical center in, in Reading, Pennsylvania, with Dr. Kanchana. She uh, ordered, well, I suggested her. I heard about this kind of, kind of new... Uh, Test that they were carrying in the United States. I think it had been used in, in Europe for 10 years. That DAT scan. A DAT scan? Yeah, okay. I think that's for uh, to measure the uh, production of dopamine in the brain. She concluded that uh, the results were con concording with, uh, with the uh, Parkinson's diagnosis. In, uh, in, accordance with in accordance with having the Parkinson's disease diagnosis. Right.